Hello friends, welcome back for another professional match of StarCraft 2. My name is Keanu and I'm very happy to be here for game number 3 between another van. Showtime, spawning here with the red Protoss versus Raynor, spawning in the top corner with the blue Zerg. Who is going to win? What is going to happen? As usual, I'm going to find out together with you, so stay with me for the epic final match between Showtime and Raynor. Raynor, the Italian Stallion, the one and only, the youngest player that ever played in a World Champions uh, Cup final at the age of 16 years old, and he was also the youngest that has won on Katowice finals. Now, Standard opening so far, Showtime opening with a gateway and the pylon, nothing unusual so far, but who knows what they are going to prepare. So look up the scouting, the probe already doing uh, a circle. Now this is not a circle, obviously it's a pentagon. I was never good at geometry. And here we have the third hatchery. The third hatchery because you need to be greedy as Zerg if you want to have a chance. And right now, both players are thinking what they are going to do because it's very important to have a constant awareness of your opponent. This is what we are actually seeing. This is uh, Showtime point of view. And now this is Raynor's point of view. So Raynor, uh, at the beginning of the game, has the option to send uh, to scout uh, overlords and Raynor to send the probe. But that means a little bit less minerals. But luckily we see everything. Uh, look at the position of the Overlord, just to make sure it put, it's uh, put over here at the entrance, so it can make a real-time uh, awareness warning for uh, what is going to happen, in case there is a rush. Now seeing the timing, this is excellent for uh, Raynor. When you see the timing, that means uh, nothing out of the ordinary, no shenanigans, no proxy, nothing. It's all about now who is going to be able to have uh, the bigger army ball and what type of units uh, we are having. So far with an Adept, Adept are uh, the unit to go if you are a Protoss at the beginning of the game. And obviously for uh, Zerg you have to have Queens for Transfuse, for Cryptomore and a lot of Zerlings. Uh, Zerlings give you map awareness, they are very fast and very cheap. Very, very, very cheap to mention. Uh, Protoss is gas heavy, already here we have uh, two assimilators and probably as soon as uh, more minerals are going to be gathered these two assimilators are also uh, Vespian geysers are going to be taken. The third hatchery for Raynor and who is going to win? The best from Italy versus the best of Germany. Is it going to be the Deutschland or is it going to be Mamma Mia? country of pizza, of pasta, of all those delicious uh, gelaterie, ice cream. So guys, my recommendation to all of you, if uh, by any chance uh, you are visiting Italy, please, please go to a gelaterie. They have some of the best ice creams in the world. Don't go to KFC and McDonald's. As for Germany, I haven't been to Germany yet. I hope one day, but time is not lost. Already here we have the Oracle, and the Oracle is good for scouting. And these two adept, yeah. So they were cutting us around. I told you the Zerlings are very efficient. They can be in multiple places, and now creating a wall off with an adept, and another gateway. And the Oracle, I don't think one Oracle is going to do it. Already here we have two queens, here we have another two queens, making sure to be vigilant. Already a spore crawler. So yeah, everything is okay. But now we have two of them. So as Protoss, you can afford to lose some shield battery, some shield from the Oracle, because if you have a shield battery, you can recover. Now these two Oracles are spotted. Look at the queen, so three queens and the Sporkler, another one over here. So, I don't see them being able to do more than a revelation. Yeah, different angle. Maybe if they flow in this direction, no, just going back home. So, showtime. 
with this opening not very successful. Raynor obviously have practiced it so many times four years in a row. Yeah, think about Raynor, 20 years old, and he has a lot of experience already. And uh, showtime, he started in 2012, guys. Now, freeze the magic number for oracles. If you have free oracles, you can literally do a lot of damage, but not if you flow over a sporker where there are two quiz as well. The two adepts, yeah, good luck trying to destroy a hatchery. I don't see this happening. And the oracles are running out of energy. This is an energy based unit. In terms of income, favoring showtime for a little bit. Now Raynor. In terms of army, they are pretty equal. Raynor has more uh, workers, 60 now. On showtime, we for comeback, 60 as well. 63 versus 60 right now. So they are pretty even match. Ideally, as uh, Zerg, you would like to have more. But, ah uh, no, 70 versus 60. Not bad, not bad at all. Timing. Look how fast uh, Raynor was able to pull the drones. This is what I'm talking about. And now, an only Oracle, like the Lonely, lonely Ranger. The fur base was acquired, so Showtime keeping up with the bases of uh, Raynor. Raynor having uh, four hatcheries, but four hatcheries versus four Nexus. The four Nexus is uh, well placed. Here we have a wall off with gateways. And a lot of workers, so two assimilators here, and this space two over here, and another two over here, so a lot of them. And more oracles, so okay, if you person asks it, try again. Disruptors, and here it's uh, a unit that can literally change a game, it's a warm prism. If you do a good micro with it, and now showtime, very, very greedy with a four nexus. Let's see if uh, Raynor has something to say about it, if he's going to allow it. Now more and more Zerlings. Revengers are here. Uh, with their corrosive bio, Ooh, they can do a lot of damage. And ground weapon level 1, almost done. More Roaches are coming. A lot of Queens for home defense. And another Hatchery, so if you see that your opponent is trying to do the macro game, you do the same. Now, Bailing. Nest, already researching, upgrades, glacial recon uh, in and now we have the heavy shooters, the immortals, and probably the oracles are going to be used for revelation, important to keep track of uh, rain or uh, units, there are a lot of zerlings here, maybe some bailings, ah, anticipating this uh, status ward, from the oracle already in place. So in case you are running in this direction, boom, you are going to find yourself free. Now, oh, uh, almost the perfect uh, disruptor shot. And another status ward. These are very efficient, but what you are going to do against the Revengers? If we are in big numbers, we are going to be able to kill a lot of structures from a far distance. And a lot of bailings. This is what I am talking about. Look at them rolling. And already spotted. Oh, excellent detonation. The Zero sacrificing himself for the good of the Protoss. Now Archons with air shield. And look at the crisp spread of Rhinor. It's almost as good as... Oh, excellent disruptor shot. They don't need to pay attention. I was just praising him for the spread and as I said it he missed uh, and now coming from two angles but that is worth excellent job now with all of these probes are evacuating Zerlings everywhere the queens are here as well taking advantage of the creep spread but now more and more archons are here and look at these bailings over here just waiting to go back into action. The Nexus is going to die for sure. Ah, mission accomplished. Basically, Raynor, this is what he wanted to do, to deny more mining. 
because you cannot let uh, Protoss with uh, four Nexus to go unchecked. Uh, Raynor almost maxed out, 187 versus 114. Show time, you need to produce a lot of units. I have a feeling that a third wave is going to come, and now trying to <laughs> not hit that, that greedy and taking the Nexus in the proximity of um, the rest of the bases. But you saw it, Raynor, it's on the move, the swarm is here. And five Archons. So these Raptors, I don't think it's enough. Versus the maxed out. Nah, Raynor is not going to allow this Nexus. And it was cancelled. Now the problem for short time is that he is running low on minerals in his main base. And now trying to acquire here again. I don't know what to say. Look at the swarm. You know he's coming. Now let's see this confrontation over here. Is it going to be enough? Yeah, a lot of Archons, but... Bailings are coming to soften them up. Yeah. And on the back of it, we have the roaches and Raynor decisively won game number three. So, in this best of three, Raynor won two uh, versus one versus Showtime. Remember to subscribe. Keanu over. See you tomorrow.